Hi, welcome back. I'm Dr. Sridhar. We'll continue the MCQ series. I hope you have subscribed to the channel. Please do subscribe and uh, please do like and share the videos. We wanted to reach more people because I'm taking the effort to share information. Uh, the following are part of intraventricular hemorrhage or IVH prevention bundle in the premature babies except. So here we have to pick out one choice which is not the right answer. Keep the neck in the midline for the first 72 hours or the first three days. Delayed cot lamping unless you have a factor contraindicating it like acute uh, antenatal hemorrhage. Uh, keep the baby intubated and ventilated. Ensure gentle flushing after arterial samples and if you need a bolus, give it over 30 minutes. Uh, give slow boluses if you need to. And uh, keep head and elevated 20 degrees. Uh, I'll pause for a few seconds for you to think about the response. So uh, I will share a link to the video where I describe the IVH prevention bundle in detail. Please go through that. And uh, the answer here is obviously uh, the option three, which, is, which says keep intubated and ventilated. Obviously your respiratory management, you have to be very careful when you uh, intubate or reintubate these babies. The neck position is very important. We shouldn't overextend the neck. But your respiratory management doesn't uh, depend on this. You manage the baby with either non-invasive ventilation or if you are intubating, avoid extubation unless you are sure the baby will tolerate to avoid the risk of uh, handling with reintubation. So this is the answer that uh, you should pick. The neck in the midline in the first three days is very important because venous compression with the neck to the side might increase the risk of IVH. Delayed cot lamping obviously improves the blood volume in the baby, makes it hemodynamically more stable with a lower risk of IVH. And uh, gentle flushing or avoiding boluses is important to again reduce the hemodynamic fluctuations. And the head and elevation 20 degrees has been shown to reduce the risk of IVH as well. So. Uh, these are the options that are correct and again I will share the link and go through the uh, detailed video as well. Uh, please do uh, like and share the video again.